guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to do a haul for you today. So my daughter and I went to an antique store. Um, it actually was like an antique mall and it's here in um, Wisconsin in the Appleton area. It is huge. We actually only made it through half of the building and um, I can link the address below if any of you are in the area and want to check it out. But um, I found some really fun things. So I wanted to share them with you today. Um, she bought a comic book. That was about it. <laughs> Okay, so just some unique things. So you guys know I'm doing a circus theme. Well, I found these vintage candle holders. Um, I paid $3.25. There's six of them. They look handmade, maybe, hand painted. Um, so I think I'm going to actually make charms or something out of them. But they look like this. I thought they were really unique. I thought they would be cute, like on a junk journal, like hanging off the spine. I mean, look at that giraffe. He's so cute. Here's like how they were intended. So there is a candle in there. So they each have like this hole in the top. I don't know what that is. What is that? Anyway, they each have a little hole in the top that I thought I could just fill and maybe put a, um, a hook in there. So they become dangles. Anyway, I thought they were adorable. So just something to keep in my collection. Um, you know, I'll use maybe one or two and maybe sell the rest of my Etsy store. I'm not quite sure, but that is those. I just thought they were fun. Um, next, we have some vintage Valentines. I paid $3.50 for these. There's quite a few of them in here. They're in really good condition. Look at their even signed. I love that so much. This is a girl with a record player. Here's a little girl and a kitty. Again, signed. That's so cute. These are in really great condition. Probably the best I've seen. Oh, that one is cute with the cake. I love that. See, we got some glitter on it there. I'm all ears wanting to say be mine. To Gloria. Let me sail into your heart. How cute. These are amazing. These are perfect condition. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Yeah, really happy with those. The condition is just amazing. Um, what's next? This is just a box of vintage note cards. Fern and flower notes. Ten. It says there's ten in here. Or it came originally with ten. I love the envelopes. Look how beautiful and aged that one is. And these just have a nice kind of um, darker patina on them. Oh, I think they're all here. These would be pretty in a garden party junk journal. Blank inside. Yeah, they're all here. That's awesome. Um, this was, oh, he must have taken the price tag off. I don't have a price for these. I'm sure they were around $3. I don't think I would have paid more than that for them. Next, I have some, let's see, vintage kids cards. This was $4.50 for the entire bag. So there is baby's first birthday. Sweet. Another little bear. This is for a three-year-old. Some grandma. How cute is this one for my little circus theme I have going on this month? Oh, 
Uh, this is just a vintage pattern that I picked up. I really like the front of it. I like the colors and I love this strawberry dress. I think this would be a cute cover for um, like a spring or strawberry themed journal. This one I also did buy for the colors that um, aqua and peach together are just so cute. Yeah, I like that. Love the vintage look of it. Fun. All right, what else? Um, I got some golden books here. I did pick up a Raggedy Ann and Andy Rainy Day Circus. This looks like a newer print. Um, yeah, this one is 1973. I shouldn't say newer, but really good condition. This one I paid a dollar. Uh, circus is in town. I thought I could use this uh, this month with my Maggie Holmes carousel theme. I don't love like the pictures as much as I did the Topsy Turvy Circus. Uh, this one was two. This that goes with something else. Okay, ABC Rhymes. This one is this was two dollars and it is 1971. This one has bright colors. There's a Z for zoo. You could take this apart and use it in any kind of a junk journal, you know, spring or um, you know, like a rainy day journal here. Um, let's Hola. see. Hey, Cal. Lion, if you want to do a zoo. Western themed journal. You could put the horse in there. It's an elephant again for the circus theme. Super cute. Um, this is ABCs. Again, I did look at this one online um, when I was looking at the circus uh, golden books. This one was a dollar. This is 1980. It's got some neat illustrations in it. This one I thought was so sweet. It's uh, little golden paper dolls. So cute. This I paid five for, um, but this is quite a bit older. This is... Oh, goodness, let me find uh, 1951. And oh, it's missing just the, the pages in the back that were like the advertising pages. Those are gone. This is really cute, though. Look at that. Oh, that would be so sweet for a summer journal. Carnival in the background, the fair. That's so cute. Oh, so in the back, these were paper dolls because it says, we are paper dolls. You can cut out our clothes and dress us. Um, you can find play pictures for us to play in. So yeah, these were paper dolls. Oh, it would be cool to find a book with those still in it, but still, I love the illustrations in here. Um, this one is A Day at the Zoo. Again, I bought this for, um, you know, like a zoo type a junk journal. This one I paid $3 for and it is uh, $19.50. Cute with the song book in the back or the song. Oh, look at that rainbow. That would be neat. A wishing seat. Yeah, I love the illustrations in here as well. So the um, book that I got this from has an entire bookshelf filled with um, golden books from top to bottom. There's hundreds and hundreds of them there. Um, these I thought would these, I, I really, really liked these, and I want to look up how much um, these are worth. They have the dust jackets still on them. Um, they're all Raggedy Ann and Andy. It's a set of four books. They are, so the dust jackets are worn, but the um, front covers are in really good shape. But look how they bound them. They are like this. Um, and they're all like that, so they're quite old. 1947. <clears throat> so yeah, these are really neat. And the condition is just unbelievable. They're so cute. I've been wanting to do a Raggedy Ann and Andy um, junk journal. Yeah, so these are in really good condition. I just love the fact that the dust jackets are on. I think that's really neat. This one is a mystery. This 
this one is at the end of the rainbow. The clown seems to be in a lot of them, huh? This one is the slippery slide. I wonder. This one all black and white. Oh, there's a couple of colored pictures in it. Ah, very neat. So I liked that set of four. Um, this, I for some reason, I have a lot of train ephemera. I, I had bought a bulk um, box that has just a lot of train stuff in it. And that was at a vintage place um, a couple years ago, maybe two years ago. Um, so I thought it would be neat to put it together with this book and sell it as a um, a train lot if someone was interested in that. So this will probably go on my Etsy store. This one was $4.25. That was a little more expensive. Um, I did get this cute little stack of, um, I don't know if these are wonder books, telltale books. So I remember these from when I was younger. My grandparents had these at their house, um, this brand. So yeah, these are called telltale books. There's a Digger Dan, Farm Animals, The Truck That Stopped at Village Small, Let Me See, and The Bedtime Book. Um, these would be cute little small junk journals as well. Um, and these look like 1948. Oh, 63, sorry. I was trying to read the Roman numerals. <laughs> this is 51. Um, the Q. Sixty four. So that was a set of fives. I like those. Um, I did get a pack of just bingo cards. I like this color. This teal color is really popular, um, you know, in junk journals. I got these flashcards. I was kind of taking a chance. They were $3. Um, I don't know what's inside. They were sealed, so I couldn't open them. So let's open them together and see how I did. Okay, so I do, I have these already, but I don't have a full set. Um, but I like the um, black and the red coloring. Looks like there's a couple other ones mixed in here. Yeah, I have a small pack of these, but I don't have the full set. I, I like these, I'm, I'm happy with the purchase. So these look different. No, that one's just a different color. Really aged, pretty aged color on there. Yeah, I'm happy with those. It's worth the three dollars. Um, this I had this book uh, when I was younger. My mom would get um, school books for free at the end of school years, or like if there was like a sales um, when they were getting new books in. So we had this book, but this has great songs in it and great illustrations. Um, Let's see, Battle Hymn of the Republic in America. So you could use this as like a um, Fourth of July or American junk journal, Americana. America the Beautiful. And then there's O Come All Ye Faithful. So there's some Christmas ones, Deck the Halls, Little Town of Bethlehem. Love's Old Sweet Song. So the pictures are really nice. The pages are in great shape. Home Sweet Home. So yeah, sometimes I use um, my songbooks as like a jumping off point for a theme that I'm putting together in my Etsy shop. Um, let's see, you know, if I wanted to do a dog theme or a pet theme, you could put this with it. A cat one, Sweet Kitty Clover, you could do a cat theme. Camp Town Races. Shorten and Brad, Three Little Girls, Nutcracker Sweet. This would be really sweet to do a 
Christmas journal with for a little girl. Yeah, I love this. I thought this was a great find. This was $4. This was published in 1953. Wow, it's in great condition. Great condition for that old. Um, okay, two things left. Oops. This one I got because it is in perfect condition. This cover, it's got a few little spots on it that I think I could clean, but I know people love these old books, these Better Homes and Gardens books to use as a garden journal. So you could take some of the pages out, you could leave them in. Um, I would love to put something like this together for myself. This is actually, I have two of these. I have this one and I have another one. I think I have the older one, the older version. Um, but yeah, I would love to keep one of these for myself and sell one. Um, so this one, I couldn't find a date on this one. I can't, obviously this is the newer one. The other one, um, this one is 1968 and this is the new garden book. There's one that's older than this. Um, and I think the words are here. Um, but yeah, this is in great condition. So got that. the last thing is my favorite. Anytime you can find these, oh my goodness. So this is a 1952 Montgomery Wards catalog. So this thing is huge. Um, spring and summer. This thing, look how thick it is. I mean, it is thick. And these images are just so fun to look through. So let me get to like... Look at like the underwear sets. Oops. That is just so fun. Shoes, socks. Oh, look at the baby clothes. So sweet. Look at those. Oh, God, it's so cute. I love, love, love using these for my junk journals. Um, fabric. Women's undergarments. Oh, handkerchiefs or um, scarves? No, these are nylon. Sorry. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Look at the shoes, the sandals. Wow, these pages are perfect too. There's not a rip on any of them. Look at the hat styles. Oh my gosh, I could look through this all night long. This is so fun. The suit dresses. This is so cool. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this or I'm gonna sell it as whole um, in my Etsy shop. I looked on Etsy and um, some people do like sell pages of them. The only thing is for shipping wise, you would almost have to fold the page in half. I'm not sure if people would mind that. Um, it would cost a lot more to ship it with a full page, but you know, I could offer both. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I love it. It is such a great find to me. Uh, so that is it. You guys, sorry it was such a long video. I hope you enjoyed just uh, browsing through everything with me. I love all this vintage stuff and I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in my next video.